Hello, my name is Edward. Welcome and greetings to Medium Tarot TV channel. This is a Project Virgo update video for September 16th, 2016. I thought I would do an eclipse update because everyone, of course, is being affected by these eclipses, whether they consciously realize it or not. So this is going to be general information if you're a Virgo sun sign, and it's going to be specific information if you happen to have a Virgo rising, Virgo ascendant. Now, with when you watch astrologers on YouTube, they're going by what is on the ascendant. That's how they say a certain planet is in a certain house. So watch Virgo, watch Virgo. For Virgo sun sign, watch Virgo, of course, but go what, also watch what is on your ascendant for when they talk about where planets are moving into the house, because that'll be more direct and accurate for you. All right, now let's get to it. So we had, let's see, August 18th, we had an Aquarius full moon, partial lunar eclipse, Spirit told me it's going to be in effect for three months, so that's through November 13th, I believe, 2016, 25 degrees, okay, so that places it in our sixth house. Again, this is going to be specific if you have Virgo rising ascendant. I happen to have Virgo rising ascendant, so I use my chart as an example. So sixth house has to do with everyday habits, routine, schedule, our health. So we're being asked to review, well, with Mercury technically being retrograde when I film this, which we're going to be in the Mercury retrograde energy through October 5th, 2016. October 6th, full steam ahead. And if you have Virgo rising, Virgo Ascendant, then the planet Mercury is your chart ruler. So it would, Mercury Retrograde would affect you more than, than others, like myself. But anyway, sixth house, habits, day-to-day -day routine, schedule, our animal companions as well. So we're being asked to review our schedule. Are we getting enough rest, relaxation, play, reflection, we're being asked to adjust just to review with our schedule because it ultimately that would affect our health, ultimately. And then, you know, that that's also about diet. Check in with your diet. You may already have because this is a month ago, but check in with your diet. See if you need to make any adjustments. And this is true not only for Virgo, but if we listen... If we listen to our body, it will tell us yay or nay. <laughs> okay? Very well. We know what works for our body. Let's not go against that. All right. So that was the sixth house. Then we had September 1st, new moon solar eclipse in Virgo, nine degrees. Okay. So that's in our first house. This is for... This is, for us, this is like getting a facelift. This is getting, hmm, how do I put it? We're being revitalized. We are working on ourselves. And what I've, what I've discovered is that people are finding me. Now, I've been on YouTube for years, and all of a sudden, these people are coming out of the woodwork and they're just finding me. So you might find the same. People might be discovering you. So this is a great time to shine. Even when we go, even when the sun goes into the astrological sign of Libra, that's still going to benefit us because of the planet Jupiter being in Libra, which would fall into our second house of finances. So we'll have to be careful well, we want an increase of finances. I mean, who doesn't? But we'll also have to be careful to make sure that it's not just going out. Because, I mean, we want to flow. We don't want to be fearful. We don't want to 
fight the energy. We don't want to, because um, it's because money is a flow. It's an energy. We don't want to stop it, but eh, budget time. Let's put it that way. It's good time for budget time. So first house. So we are revamping. That's the word that's coming to me. So we are revamping who we are and how we project ourselves to the world. Because the first house, which is the ascendant, it's how we package ourselves, how we market ourselves, how we show ourselves to the world. Now, personally, I started to do daily videos and Spirit said, just jump in. Because, you know, Virgos, we don't like to do anything midstream, but I did starting August 30th, and that's where all the people noticing me came from. So it's, it was just around the same time frame. I was just listening to to spirit and inner voice, higher self. Well, it paid off for me. So listen, okay? So we are, we might be doing something about our appearance. I ended up getting a haircut. I actually like it. I didn't think I would like it, but I actually do like it. So you might be doing, you might be doing something with your appearance, your wardrobe. It's very possible. Just go with it and go within your budget. So first house, it's us, okay? Then we get the Pisces full moon lunar eclipse, which is a very sensitive one for us, for Virgos, on September 16th. And that's at 24 degrees Pisces. And that falls into our seventh house of partnerships. So partnerships is not only romance, it's also business. So we are being called upon to let go of whoever we need to let go of from the past, myself included. It can be recent past. It can be distant past. Um. We could be holding a torch for someone that we've had past life connections with. Okay? It's very possible, whether you believe that or not. It's possible. So it could be from our childhood. So lots of healing going on. It's a very sensitive point for us because whenever the moon, whether it be a full moon lunar eclipse or just any time of the year, whenever the moon is in the opposite sign of our sun sign, it's a sensitive time for us. So when the moon is in Pisces for Virgo sun signs, it's a sensitive time for us. We have to make sure that we get proper rest. And this is a full moon lunar eclipse. In effect, Spirit told me it's in effect for five months. So both the September 1st as well. So this takes us into like mid-February 2017. So keep that in mind. Like the first month is intense, but then it eases up and things unfold within the amount of time, the window of reverberance, of energy. So just keep that in mind. So relationships. We are hopefully figuring out who we want to be with, who we don't want to be with, the energy, who do we want to resonate with, who we do resonate with, I should say, who we just don't anymore. It happens. Uh, who we want to hang out with, who we don't want to hang out with, who we want to do business with, who we don't want to do business with. Do we want to do business in a different way? Do we, yeah, all of that is in play, okay? So just keep that in mind. Let's see if there's anything else that they want to add. This is really, we're just letting go. We're shedding, think of it this way, like I don't, I don't like to use the example of a snake, but like a snake shedding a layer of skin, that's what we're doing. We're shedding a layer. We might be shedding seven years, actually. We might be shedding the past seven years, actually, they're saying. Just like skin cells, I think it's like every seven years they regenerate. I don't know if that's correct or not, but I'm just going with the seven years that they're telling me. So we could be shedding the last seven years of our life, the disappointments, the disillusionment. I mean, I have my fair share. The, you know, people didn't follow through, people who lied to us, blah, 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 blah. People who basically used us because we're, because we're the givers, we're, the, we're the, the service role. So we're taking back, this is, we're really taking back our power with the, with the new moon solar eclipse in our first house. We are taking, taking back, it was a good one, taking back our power. And 
Usually when one house is involved, the opposite house is involved. So with September 1st, September 16th, 1st, 7th house, those are the opposites. So for August 18th, that was in our 6th house, that affected our 12th house, which is our subconscious. So lots of stuff is coming up. I mean, I have myself on a meditation routine, okay? Every morning and every evening, I meditate. It's an hour and a half of meditation. So I do practice what I preach. So a lot of stuff is coming up from our subconscious to be healed. And, you know, it's not always pretty. It's not always pleasant. No. So accept it, embrace it, and then it's a healing, and then we release it. So, but that's only going to increase once we get rid of the, it's like cleaning out our closets. Once we get rid of that energetic debris from our subconscious, we're only going to have a better connection with spirit, with the universe, with our higher self. So there's always a plus. There's always a benefit. All right. I think I'm going to pretty much end it there. I just wanted to give a quick eclipse update, check in with you, see how you're doing, and, you know, feel free to leave a comment below, and we'll take it from there. So until next time we connect, you be well. Take care. We're all in this together. Okay? And if you liked and enjoyed this energy message, please like, share, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. All right. We'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning in and watching.